new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you Prosecutors have dropped R and S A charges against an Ohio football star who was accused of stripping a woman naked and then touching her as she slept after new evidence which undermined his guilt. Crowsley McEchin, age 18, was charged with R and S A in late July after a girl went to authorities and claimed that she woke up finding him on top of her. He had won a place on the football team in the University of St. Francis in Indiana next year, but he withdrew after being charged this year. McEchin was indicted by grand jury on R and SB and gross SI. He was released on a $100,000 bond. But on Thursday, the charges were dropped suddenly after investigators uncovered, quote, new information that changed our understanding of the case. Still to this date, the investigators will not say what, quote, information came to light after McEchin was indicted that has changed our understanding of the case. This dismissal is not a comment on the guilt or innocence of McEchin. Our job as prosecutors is to seek justice. It is not to seek convictions. We have the ethical obligation to only proceed on cases where we believe that this is the likelihood of a successful trial. Based on the information that we have today, we will not be proceeding further. And that was stated by Hamilton County Prosecutor Joseph T. Dieters. McEchin's attorney did not immediately respond for comment to request. The accuser alleged that on December 2nd at around 5 a.m., she woke up to find McEchin on top of her in the midst of intercourse. Quote, she pushed him off of her after realizing that she was naked despite wearing clothes when she went to sleep. The girl claimed that it was the second time that McEchin assaulted her and that on a previous occasion he had groped her butt. Was a star football player at a $6,100 a year Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy where he played quarterback and wide receiver. Now, this is my thing. I would love to know what this evidence was because if this guy was black i promise you there would have been no caring about the evidence um that bail probably would have been a million dollars or 12 million dollars like something crazy and uh they would have pinned him from for a lot of other crimes like i stated before uh they said that he was a football star a football star a football star and he was going to this sixteen thousand dollar a year school and uh he was a prospect you know he was going to go big right and then magically, you know, he stepped away because, you know, these charges came up. And then um, after he was charged, they magically found some evidence that is uh, looking like he, I guess he didn't do it. Or uh, what was stated that happened probably potentially didn't happen. Um, like I said, I, I, I would really love to know exactly what the evidence is. Is it a recording of a conversation that they previously had? Is it text messages? Like, what specifically is it uh, that is being deemed as worthy evidence so much so that, you know, the charges, you know, in a sense are going to get dropped and, you know, he's going to be pretty fine and dandy and back out there on the streets to do whatever he wants to do. Like I said, this is what it looks like uh, also when you have money. Magically, evidence, alibis and everything else can show up at the drop of a hat as long as you got the money to pay the price for whatever you need. This almost seems like another affluenza case where, you know, you had a uh, a teenager, you know, somebody was 18, ended up, you know, doing something. And then, um, you know, they're not going to get charged. <laughs> you know, like I said, it's, uh, it's quite ridiculous. But then again, this is the system that we live in where those with the complexion and the money are able to do any and everything that they want. You can just look at the uh, the college mom. Uh, uh, Aunt Jesse, or whatever it was from uh, Full House, she basically cheated her kids way directly into college, and uh, she really didn't serve any time. But yet, you have uh, black mothers who were struggling and doing everything that they could in order to get their kids the best, and they end up serving jail and prison sentences to a longer extent than uh, what the true American did, right? And she was caught. 
So, you know, like I said, this is the, the world and the system that we live in. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about the story and everything. Now, listen in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.